Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy I'm Muhammad Shahid and today I brought a very simple topic yet it is very important for us to learn Today is it is clear from the slide in front of you that is words and antonyms so we are going to discover two words and those two words will be in opposite in meaning towards each other so let's just discover those words and learn it by heart okay so these are the two words that I'm focusing today and the first word is win in Chinese when we will see the pinyin in the next slide you will identify the pronunciation of this word so it is ying ying as a verb having a second tone ying ying to win and the second one is shu with a first tone shu as a verb it means lose lose so I have made a sentence on the this one word here that is win so in English it is our team won the match today. Hamari team ne aaj match jita hai. Woman tui jin tian ying le pi sai. Woman tui jin tian ying le pi sai. Pi sai. Okay. Woman means our. Tui means team. Jin tian jin tian today ying le bi sai ying le means to win ying le le is used with ying so it is indicating that the action of winning the match has been completed bi sai bi sai i have given the meaning a list of the vocabulary that i used in this example in the end of this video lecture so you can see that from there so let's proceed and understand the opinion of this sentence and learn these words so this is the opinion of these words the first one is I pronounced is ying ying means to win shu means to lose so as i said in the characters woman tui jin tian ying le bi sai woman tui jin tian ying le bi sai ying le bi sai we or our team won the match today okay now we will proceed to the list of the vocabulary that i have prepared and learn these one by one I hope that this sentence and these words are clear to you as I mentioned in the beginning of the lecture that we are going to learn a word and a word opposite in meaning to it so the first one is to win and the second one is to lose so this is the list of vocabulary that we have used in the sentence the first one is B sai B sai third tone and a fourth tone combination and it means generally it means match competition or game so if you are mentioning a specific game agar aap kisi khas game ki taraf ishara kar rahe hai so you have to mention the name of the game for example a football match and you want to say that it's a football match so you can say zu Chiu bi sai. Zu chiu bi sai. 
足球比赛 ，OK? Football match, and three is for team or group, as I said earlier. 今天，今天，今天 ，today. 今天，今天，今天 ，not 今天，今天 ，it's a becoming a second tone with that. 今天 ，today. 今天 ，today. 我们 ，our. 赢，赢，赢，赢 means to win. 乐 is an auxiliary verb, and when it is used, as I said, after a verb or an adjective to indicate the completion of an action. So, if we say 赢 means to win, and if I say 赢 so it means the action has been the action of、uh, winning the match has been completed. So, to win a match or the People who are involved in winning the match have completed the action of winning the match. So, ये जितना भी मैंने कहा, इसका मतलब है कि P S I का मतलब है match, competition या game. अगर आपने P S I जो है सिर्फ generally एक game के लिए इस्तेमाल होता है, अगर आपने किसी खेल के बारे में mention करना है, तो आपने खेल को जो है उसका नाम mention करना है. और तो ये कहते हैं team को जिन थियन कहते हैं आज को वोमन हम हमारा या उसके लिए यूज होता है यिंग मींस जीतना लो एक ऐसा वर्ड है चाइनीज जबान में जो कि किसी काम की कंप्लीट होने की तरफ इशारा करता है कोई काम मुकम्मल हुआ है तो उसकी तरफ इशारा करता है सो आई होप दैट दिस वाज इनफ फॉर टुडे एंड यू हैव लर्न द वर्ड यिंग एंड शू यू कैन यूज द वर्ड शू Just the same as I mentioned in the previous sentences, just like we say that, woman two jintian ying la pi sai. Similarly, you can say, woman two jintian shu la pi sai. Our team lost the match today. So this is all for today. I hope that you would have liked the video, and if you did so, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And share it with your friends who are eager to learn Chinese language. And we are going to meet in next video as soon as possible. Till then, see you. 再见。